Hello. For today's lab, we will be measuring cellular respiration in germinating peas. We're going to be looking at some environmental effects on the levels of CO2 production uh, using germinated room temperature peas, heat killed peas, and germinated uh, peas on ice. To begin this experiment, we first must count out 25 peas. Now, these are peas that have been germinating at room temperature for about three or four days. They're just simply soaked in water, but they have begun the growth process. The 25 peas are going to be counted out and they will then be placed in a large plastic flask. This flask is going to be used to measure the CO2 production from the cellular respiration that's occurring within the peas. Although peas are plants, they do still carry out cellular respiration. Here we have the uh, Vernier Lab Pro CO2 sensor. This is going to be inserted into the mouth of the plastic flask. Once this has been inserted into the mouth of the plastic flask, we then have to allow the flask to equilibrate and we will allow the CO2 sensor to sit for one to two minutes. While the CO2 sensor is equilibrating to the software on our laptop computer, we will begin taking measurements. While we're waiting for the germinated peas to finish their equilibration, we will go ahead and repeat this process with heat killed peas as well as with the cold peas. So we of course count it out, we count out 25 of the heat killed peas. They are then placed in their own labeled plastic flask. We add the CO2 sensor and allow that to equilibrate for one to two minutes. Now we're on to the cold peas. These are germinated peas that have been placed on ice for about one hour. We don't want the peas to be frozen. We simply want them to be uh, extremely cold. Once the peas are added to their own plastic flask, we do put the flask back on ice and add the next CO2 sensor. Again, we'll have to allow this flask to equilibrate for about one to two minutes before collecting our data. Once everything has equilibrated, we're now ready to begin collecting some data. So here, we're just taking a look. We're going to be measuring data for uh, cold peas, heat killed peas, and room temperature germinated peas. So here we have data collection for the cold peas. You can see the light blinking on the sensor. That's telling us that data is being collected. We also have uh, the sensor collecting data on heat killed peas. And finally here on the germinated peas. We can now see the data collection occurring on the veneer software. The red line is the C increasing CO2 levels from the germinated peas. We see from the final graph that our heat killed peas did not produce any CO2, only measured what was atmospheric and already within the flask. The cold germinated peas did produce low levels of CO2. Cellular respiration was occurring, but at a, at a greatly reduced rate due to the environmental factor. And then of our room temperature peas, not only were producing much higher levels of CO2, but those levels of CO2 increased over time. We measured for five minutes and saw that we had a steady increase of CO2 levels within the flask due to cellular respiration occurring within the germinated peas. And thank you to Dr. Nilo Marin for allowing us to videotape his experiment. Thanks, Dr. Marin.